The number one golfer in the world now has a mugshot. Police arrested Scotty Scheffler on a felony charge early this morning before the second round of the PGA Championship. But he wasn't in that orange jumpsuit for long. He made it back out to the golf course for his tee time a short while later. Fox's Connor Hansen has the story. Guys, guys, guys. A reporter catches on video the moment police handcuff Scotty Scheffler, the number one ranked golfer in the world. Traffic had been brought to a standstill outside Valhalla Golf Club in Louisville, the site of the PGA Championship after a deadly accident. Just a couple of hours before his tea time, Scheffler reportedly drove past an officer who told him to stop. Police say the officer grabbed onto the car until it stopped about 10 yards later and was hurt in the process. He's going to jail, and it ain't nothing you can do about it. Scheffler was charged with second-degree assault of a police officer, among other crimes. But he quickly went from his orange jumpsuit back to his golf gear for the tournament's second round. I was in shock, and so I was, I was shaking, and it took me a little while, you know, in the car on the way over here to kind of calm down. Can't comment on any specifics, but my situation will be handled. It was just a... Uh just a big misunderstanding. My heart goes out to the family. The golfer's lawyer noted that he was in a marked PGA vehicle and says Scheffler never assaulted an officer and will plead not guilty. Scotty Scheffler was, you know, caught up in this and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, was trying to follow directions of the police officers. He heard one thing, they told him another. The next thing you know, there's a police officer on top of his vehicle. This is a humble, gracious, courteous guy. This is a guy who would never, you would never feel would be in this type of a position or would put himself in any kind of uh, situation uh, that would warrant anything like this. Scotty Scheffler is scheduled to be arraigned after the tournament next Tuesday. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.